Iran's regime executes another political prisoner. Baluch political prisoner Javid Dehkan Khalad, who had been imprisoned for five and a half years, was executed early Saturday morning local time in Zahedan Central Prison in southeast Iran. He had been transferred to solitary confinement in Zahedan Central Prison prior to his execution. He was arrested in May 2015 and sentenced to death in April 2017 by the court in Zahedan on charges of muharabe or waging war on God. After his arrest, Javid was held in solitary confinement for a long time and severely tortured to give forced confession. The regime's torturers flogged him with cables and pulled out his fingernails. In a statement, the Iranian resistance had urged the United Nations Secretary General, the UN Council and the UN High Commissioner for Human Rights, as well as other human rights organizations, to take immediate action to save the life of this political prisoner and once again reiterated the need to send an international commission of inquiry to visit the Iranian regime's prisons and meet with prisoners, especially political prisoners and prisoners on death row. Iran, coronavirus death toll surpasses 208,300. Over 208,300 people have died of the novel coronavirus in Iran, according to reports tallied by the Iranian opposition People's Mujahideen Organization of Iran as of Friday. The official death toll declared by the regime stands at 57,807, around a third of the actual figure. The number of people hospitalized and seeking medical treatment is rising, said Minu Muhraz, a member of the National COVID-19 Task Force on Friday. If this trend continues, we will probably witness a new increase and a fourth wave in late February or March. The increasing number of new cases and the coronavirus's spread across Iran is extremely concerning. The mutated UK strain has been seen in Iran and most likely exists, and it may have been here from a while ago. Of course, we are hoping this virus does not spread across Iran. If it does, concerns will only escalate, she added, according to the regime's official Irna news agency.